check it out. You hungry for a hamburger? Then this is what you want. Thick, juicy burgers smothered in cheese, crispy lettuce with a ripe red tomato sticking out. You ready for it? Okay, here it is. This is reality. A sorry piece of meat stuck between two stale pieces of bun with vegetables that look wilted and tired. You think this is bad? I bought my video iPod for plenty of money, only to see the next version come out within three months with twice as many gigabytes for the same price. In fact, they even have these nice little pocket-sized ones now with better graphics than this one. I'd love to have one of those. Has that ever happened to you? I bet it does all the time. You get all excited about the next great thing. You can't wait. The day comes, you get it, and the next day the price drops. The newer version comes out. Or the previous formats don't work on the newer models. That's just it. Life is a cycle of wanting, getting, and wanting more. Desire, expectation, disappointment. And then you know what happens next? You die. Depressed already? Life got you down? Get over it. Take Schopenhauer and don't call me in the morning. Schopenhauer saw how easily we get trapped in the motion of want and illusion. Strip away the want and illusion and what do you got? Let me quote Arthur Schopenhauer himself. We can regard our life as an useless, disturbing episode in the blissful repose of nothingness. The man was a real upper. With an attitude like that, it makes sense that he would go on to say, we should always be mindful of the fact that no man is ever very far from the state in which he would readily want to seize a sword to bring his own existence to an end. Well, okay, maybe not today. To do so would be admitting that I am a victim of this pointless existence, so described by Arthur Schopenhauer. While he's known as the pessimistic philosopher, if you think of him as just as a downer, then you've missed the point. Schopenhauer is telling us not to be surprised by misery or dashed expectations. Be a knower and not a sufferer. As a knower, I can detach myself from my strong-willed desires. And once done, then I am less likely to be fooled by their illusionary promises of happiness. I don't need the next big thing. I'm content with what I have. I'll be back.